It's time to hear from travel expert Caroline Cotton. Now she brings with her 37 years of experience as a travel expert. Hopefully you were able to use her tips from last time and book your all-inclusive resort and tour for the summer. Today she's going to be focusing with us on weekend getaways off the rock. Caroline, I think that everybody needs a weekend getaway off the rock at times. <laughs> I guess. And I think about this time of year, we've all gone through season and mm -hmm. Even if it's somewhere that's like Key West, although we have sand and water and we have a beautiful atmosphere here in Key West, we just need to get away. Mm -hmm. And sometimes um, if it's just a two-night getaway, off the rock is what we call it, just to get up, get out, and go. Mm -hmm. And you've got some great package deals that you can explain to us this morning. Yes, well, what I did was I compared... Um, three different locations. First of all, Las destinations, Las Vegas, New York, and the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. And it was very interesting what I found is that there are package companies that specifically sell a tour to you. And it includes your airfare and your hotel. Um, I did some price checking on all of this and as it turns out, if we go and we make our own package, it saves about $300 per person. And that is by doing our own airfare, airline ticket, booking the hotel directly, doing a tour, and then setting up your own transfers. It sounds like a lot of work, but it's really not, especially if you have a travel professional. Mm -hmm. For instance, um, the package price to Las Vegas for a weekend per person is about $900 per person from Miami. Mm -hmm. I put together a package using the round trip airfare from Key West getting a hotel which is the hotel luxor which they're on sale right now they're normally three hundred dollars a night they're hundred and fifteen dollars mm -hmm. and set up transfers and a half day sightseeing tour and i got it down to um five hundred and seventy six dollars per person oh really yes and so it's just a matter of what the destination is, mm -hmm. what the airfares are. The, the airfares, we had Southwest Airlines came into Key West via um, AirTran. Mm -hmm. So now we have through airfares, which is from Key West all the way to Las Vegas. You have to go up to Orlando, mm -hmm. but it is an airfare now that we didn't used to have. We had, Air, American Airlines had no competition. So now we're seeing some competition because of these discount airlines. Mm -hmm. And I think if when we go on a weekend getaway, the pricing I did was for two nights. Mm -hmm. And I think from Key West, since we have to travel, you know, from here to America mm -hmm. first before we get to somewhere else, that a lot of times I would suggest three nights. Mm -hmm. If you can possibly get off work Friday afternoon or Monday mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, is, is the best way to do it. Yeah, it's almost not, you know, two nights. That's almost too short, isn't it? Right, because yeah. you spend that first day traveling, and mm -hmm. even if it's a short five-hour trip, you're kind of tired and you feel kind of dirty, or you just feel you feel different. You have to get to your hotel. First of all, you have to transfer from the airport. You have to get your baggage. You have to get to the hotel. You have to unpack, and by then, that's three quarters of a day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So two nights is is really really minimal. I would suggest three nights. Okay. So you talked about Vegas. Now you also have some package deals for Bahamas and New York as that's well, right? right. Um, the Nassau Bahamas, I know that I have seen airfares go down as low as $180 round trip from Miami. From Key West, they're still showing up right now at $450 or $500. So in that case, I would suggest people go to Miami mm -hmm. and get the lower airfare that goes over to Nassau or Grand Bahama Island or one of the other out islands. Um, hotels range about $200 per night and the transfers and they have actually a, a little tour of, of Nassau and um, that all works out to be again if we do it on our own about $500 if we go with the package company is 850 Wow. So, so do it doing it on your own is definitely the way to go and you said if you go to Bahamas go through Miami instead of I Key think West. it's worth it to travel up to Miami if you want that savings because they really mm -hmm. do attach that airfare from Key West mm -hmm. so it throws off your your amounts if you don't have time then you know mm -hmm. just be prepared to spend $800 per person mm -hmm. for two nights 
is, you know, it's, but it's off the rock. Mm -hmm. And right. sometimes that's <laughs> invaluable just right. to get away. Absolutely. And it's a beautiful place, too. So that's you can't right. go wrong. And that includes your breakfast in the Bahamas. Okay. A full buffet breakfast. Now, our last destination is to Las Vegas, mm -hmm. which seems so far away for us, but mm -hmm. it's so exciting and... Um, there's hotels right on the strip. I think I already said this about mm -hmm. the Luxor and its own mm -hmm. town. And then New York City. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we go to New York a lot. There's a lot of Key Westers that go to New York. And again, the airfare from Miami is like $260. Mm -hmm. From Key West, it's $530. But I put together a package from Key West including two nights right there um, in the Broadway theater mm -hmm. and um, with a half-day sightseeing tour on one of the double-decker buses where you can jump off and jump back on. Mm -hmm. um, it came out, again, if we drive up to Miami, to only $500 mm -hmm. per person. If we fly out of Key West, it's about $850 per mm -hmm. person. Okay, so it might be worth it to, again, make that trip Yeah, depending to on where you're going. Um, mm -hmm. For me, it's... It's no problem at all to drive to Miami and hop on a plane. But when I come home, that's, mm -hmm. that's you know, when, especially on a quick trip. Right, right. Sometimes it's worth it to fly to Key West. Absolutely. And you can start out in Miami mm -hmm. and fly to New York and then fly from New York back Miami, Miami, Key West. Mm -hmm. That's called an open jaw mm -hmm. on the airlines. Okay, something to definitely look yes. into. All right, Caroline, we're running out of time. What are we going to focus on next month? Well, I thought we might talk about adventure tours. Um, we're hiking, eco tours down to Costa Rica, maybe um, out in the outback, maybe go to Colorado to a uh, horse dude ranch. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like it. We'll see what we can find. So some full adventure. of adventure. Yeah, some <laughs> adventure out there this summer. Great. Caroline, thank you for being on this morning. Thank you so much for having me. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages.